Hi, I'm Superoach, and I've got a tip for those of you using XSplit involving a device that probably a bunch of you will have. Now, when I'm watching gamers with, uh, they're posting their clips up on um, YouTube or whatnot, I see a lot of users getting distracted when they're trying to change scenes. Uh, a quick background for what a scene is, it's a bunch of things that you chuck together. So for example, an intro might be a scene or your in-game action may be a scene or in the instance here this is a scene with a webcam and some graphics on there so that's all cool so then enter the Wii mode used with the Wii it's uh, something which you may have gathering cobwebs up in, uh, in one of your uh, I don't know your, wherever you store old consoles that don't get used much but the controller itself is pretty awesome so what if we made it able to be used with XSplit? So let's uh, give a bit of a demo. Like. And then cutting to some video. So pretty impressive. Let's show you how to do it. So um, first off, I'll, I'll show you the features of it. So to do that, I'm going to have to turn the controller off sec briefly and disengage the buttons, because otherwise, I'm going to press these and change the scene. Because um, in case you didn't guess this already, I'm using this to control what's happening on, on the XSplit, you know, to change the scenes or whatnot. So let's just uh, turn this off briefly, so then I can give you a demo of it actually working. So the idea is that um, I'm using the directional buttons to control hotkeys that I've got in um, XSplit. Alright, so I'll show you when I turn it on. So, okay, so here's the Wiimote here. I'll actually, um, I'll swap to another scene. It's a good one. Oh, hi there. So this one's a good one. So when I turn the thing on whenever I um, activate it you'll see the um, LEDs come across so now it's active to go so when I press a scene button it will indicate that I'm on that scene so I've got a currently mapped to show that you know up is scene 1 left is scene 2 scene 3 scene 4 so when you're looking at it you can actually see what um, scene you're up to without sort of having to glance over there and go oh hang on this part here is um, actually uh, all that kind of thing. So that's pretty cool. What else does it do? Well, the um, home button here shows you, well, is, is basically to start and stop recording. Now, I reckon that's the big thing. Um, I've also got it so that when you start recording, it rumbles once, and when you stop recording, it will rumble twice. So that's sort of gets around that f eerie feeling where you're like, oh, hang on, did I start or stop recording? That helps you with that. The other things is that uh, the 1 and 2 buttons, which are just here, they um, help emulate uh, mouse buttons. So that's a left click, that's a right click, and um, currently at the moment I've got this to be tab. Um, that setup is basically for FPS kind of games. We've got left click, right click, change person, and um, tab is to bring up the scoreboard. So pretty cool but you can change that to whatever you want and the rest of the buttons are free to remap as well I'll uh, probably find other uses for them in the future so that's all cool I'll, um, let's, I'll show you how I do it so let's uh, we'll need to bring up some capture stuff so let's do that now so I'm going to bring up a capture window which I'll uh, have to redo here so let's uh, bring it up so I'm using an app called GlovePie, which is just here. So I'll make that bigger for you. So GlovePie is basically a thing that lets you use uh, the Wiimote with a computer. Um, I'm not going through to how to connect this to your computer in detail because there are a lot of guides on there. Although, to be honest, uh, they're fairly out of date. But the uh, too long, don't want to bother version. What happens is basically you press 1 and 2 to make it start blinking and then you go to add devices on your Bluetooth on your laptop, your uh, Nintendo Bluetooth something or other will pop up, add that and then it'll, um, it'll pop up on your computer. You'll need something to actually uh, 
make it register the key presses and stuff. And that's what this app <laughs> here is for. So this is GlovePie. So let's uh, have a look at the script here. So if you're having a look at it, you could see I've uh, got the code. Um, now the the place to download it from, I'll uh, pop the link up here briefly for a sec. For anyone wanting to, to get it, it's um, available at just up here. So I'll make that clickable for you as well. So that's if you want to get this script for GlovePie. I'll um, have it in the video comments as well, so yeah, so it's on GitHub, I'll update it a lot, I've got a few other cool things on there, so anyway, back to the um, settings and stuff, so here's the script here, I've gone to file, oh, don't say it's crashed on me, that's awesome if it has in that case, yep, it's crashed, awesome! <laughs> So what happens is, so um, you basically have to see the buttons here. You have to map, type in your controls for each kind of thing. So this is the recording button, and these ones are for your Wiimote controls. So up, up, down, left, right, all that kind of thing. So up is just uh, the first one, and all the other ones. It's it's pretty self-explanatory, and it, I've. I've made a, a habit too for the, um, the XSplit shortcuts to make them pretty obscure because when you're using them what happens is you don't want it to be something like Alt Q which might suddenly be a shortcut in League of Legends or something like that and you get pretty messed up so I'll make it something very tricky I'll make it to be something I have to do Control Shift Alt you know so I've got to press all in there a bit of a claw grip kind of thing so, and then I'll make the, the keys be on the left side of the keyboard because that makes it reachable. So that's all cool. So anyway, you um, type, map them to be your hot keys in XSplit and I'll show you now how to do that. And then um, Bob's your uncle pretty much. So let's uh, show you how to do that. Oh, that's going to be tricky because XSplit does not let you um, see your hot key settings while it's, uh, while it's running. So I'll, I'll run you through how to do it. So you go to Tools. Oh, well, I might as well. No, I can't even show you that. Wow, it's a big fail for my upper half. So you go to Tools up the top left of XSplit. Uh, top right, sorry. And then go to General Settings. Now there's a bunch of tabs that come up then. And um, what that lets you do is... I'll just switch the webcam again. Um, that lets you bring up uh, a, a set of hotkeys and you can see the listing of you know switch to scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, all that kind of thing. Now you've got access to four scenes on the uh, the Wiimote because a directional pad has four buttons. So you uh, enter them in. Now I've made it a habit to name my tabs. So scene one for me is webcam which is this one and I've mapped that to the up button. Cool, all good. So then once you've done that, make that key correspond with the um, directional pad. The other one, which is not obvious, is the start recording button. Now you need to set that to be um, what your the top one is, top one is, which again is var dot local recording. Oh, so this is working again. So I can actually show you. So I'm going to uncomment this out. So I've done that so I could actually show you it working. Oh, cool. So now I can show you that um, if I change that to be, say, Control out E, then yeah, I can use that to toggle and start recording and all that kind of thing. But I've got it to S, so when I've got that ready, I will click, uh, just move the uh, control here, I'll click Run, give it a sec to start up. I've got a little LED chaser thing to indicate that it's working, and then off you go. So that's all cool. Any questions? I'm super edge on the uh, XSplit forums, which is all good. Um, as well as that, I can actually use this to change scenes now. Isn't that cool? Uh, so, XSplit forums, I'm super edge. Um, it would be cool. Follow me on uh, YouTube. I guess the word is subscribe. Let's uh, let's do the whole, you know, what the YouTube followers do. That they go, oh, subscribe here. Okay do that. I don't care if you do or not, but if you like this stuff, I'll, I'll be doing more cool things like this. Um, at Mark Superroach on Twitter, all cool. Super Cockroach on YouTube, duh, because you're watching me on here. 
hope you enjoyed the clip um, give it a download try it out let me know what you think I'll be adding some other nice features like for example maybe doing volume up and down if you got any ideas what kind of things I could uh, integrate onto the control um, grab the script and have a go off it yourself or let me know in the comments and I'll uh, go at it there so be good and I'll, uh, I'll uh, end up on a good note by firing off here. See you, everyone.